she just made history as the first Puerto Rican to win the Miss Earth crown. She's surely going to have a busy reign. But before she does that, we got to chat with the lovely Miss Earth 2019, Nellis Pimentel. Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning to everyone, our Miss Earth Crown followers. And as promised, we have a very beautiful Miss Earth 2019. Woo! Say hi to Nellis. Hi. Hello, everyone. Right, so <laughs> Again, just like any other interviews that we had, we want to get to know um, Nellis more. We'll be asking her questions, and we'll probably just have a very light interview with her. So, um, so are you ready? Yes, I was born ready. Right. <laughs> wow. <You know. laughs> Speaking of born ready, yeah, but we'll just share this to you, to our followers. When Nellis arrived at Carousel Mansion, oh. we were the first people yes. who got to interview Nellis. And we were even joking about the interview. Before the interview started, oh. we said that well, this is your first interview without the crown. You never know our next interview yes. would be with the crown. And how did that feel? How did um, it feel? I don't know. I think it's just it was meant to be of some sort. Um, and it was really funny because I saw you guys and I was like, oh. Well, this is it. This is how it's going to be for the whole month. Interviews and um, doing stuff, you know, um, impromptu. So I'm really happy about how things turned out. So. Right. We're very happy too. So again, the first interview was with Nona. Yes, right? it was with me. And it was actually Mark. Before we interviewed you, Nellis, we interviewed the Ponca. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it the was like stuff. really oh telling. Oh my God, it was very telling. <laughs> yeah. Having goosebumps right I'm now. having goosebumps <laughs> as well. Because it's like, it's like, like a passing of the torch exactly. sort of. Yes. Interviewing an outgoing queen yes. and interviewing the new queen. Oh so you, you, you know it. Know back then, so. so you know it it's for next year if you want to win the crown. <laughs> get your interview with us. <laughs> They're the ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, All so right. maybe um, let's talk about um, your life as, um, of course, your Miss Earth, uh, your Miss Earth 2019. Yes, now. and you actually have made history for as your the very country. First. So, if you don't mind, as you're the first ever Puerto Rican Miss Earth, yeah. so what I'd like to find out is Puerto Rico big in, uh, rather, is Miss Earth big in Puerto Rico as big as here in the Philippines? And do you have? Will you have a homecoming? Yes. Um. Miss Earth wasn't as big in Puerto Rico as it is here in the Philippines because um, usually before uh, the candidates were just handpicked, this 2019 was actually the first time that they crowned a Miss Earth Puerto Rico. So it became more popular um, during these past few months. And of course, I will have a homecoming. I don't know how big it is going to be yet. But I know a lot of people are excited to see me back home, so you don't mind, I'm excited. Mind us asking, how are they reacting there? What's the reaction? Oh how, my gosh! How do they receive it? Um, a lot of people are happy about it. My parents mostly. <laughs> They're like my biggest fans, so thank you, mom and dad, for that. Um, but yes, a lot of people are excited. They were like, I knew it since the first time. I knew that when you got there, you were going to like win everything. So I'm really happy for the support and the love that I'm getting like now that after that I've won. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> and speaking of like your, your parents, um, we saw this little the cute photo of you when you were oh. a little girl. I think it was posted in your appreciation post. Yeah. And it was a little Nellis. I don't know if you are familiar with that photo. And it says there, future beauty queen. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us the story behind that photo? Um, actually, I have a confession. I didn't like pageants before. Mm -hmm. So every time I skimmed through the albums in my house and I saw that picture, I would just laugh at it because it's like, ah, that's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, joke's on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to me, that was like never going to happen. I was a really happy child. I, I, I always had um, this dream of being a performer, being like either famous because that's what mm -hmm. we all saw. But I didn't know I was going to come in this form as a beauty queen. So I'm really happy for that. Um, but that picture, my brother sent it to me mm. the day, I think it was the day of the competition or the day before. Because I was like, I want to like... Um, just like show my evolution since I was a kid to now. Yes. So I told him, oh, send me a picture of when I was younger. Um, and he found that one. So. And you remember that picture ever existed? I don't. Okay. I don't. <laughs> he sent it to me and I was like, 
well i did not remember this so so it's like yeah. the universe hearing a little like a sort of that yeah. you're supposed to be our mr mm -hmm. 2019 right yes now. Yeah. and speaking of your childhood since you already mentioned about it so would you mind sharing to us tell us more about nellis mm -hmm. when you were growing up from this point in the photo which you shared yeah. up to the point when you got crowned as Miss Earth oh Puerto Rico. Uh, well, that's a lot of years. Um, I don't know. I think I was maybe three or four years old in that picture. I've always born and raised in Puerto Rico, always lived with my parents and my little. I have a younger brother. He's not that little anymore. He's taller than I am. Um, younger brother, older brother? Younger. Younger one. But he's, okay. I don't call him Tall. little anymore. I just younger and but he's bigger um but yeah i always i was always singing dancing like painting when i was younger mm -hmm. i was you were into the arts before yeah mm -hmm. um and i was really into school i really liked studying when i was younger but i was i talked a lot in the classroom so i was like i just finished my work like and then, yes i just finished my work and then i would just start talking to the other students so um, I could get like straight A's, but then conduct was like B, C's, because I was like, the t <laughs> but I wasn't a troublemaker. I uh -huh, just uh -huh. really liked talking. Like an average student. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I graduated from sixth grade, entered high school. I changed schools. Mm -hmm. So then I was like the newbie. Mm -hmm. I was the smart, like the smartest mm -hmm. girl in the class. But I was also the youngest because I skipped a grade when I was younger mm -hmm. um, in elementary. And since then, I think I kind of struggled a little with my body image when mm -hmm. I was, and then I started modeling at maybe 15. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, yeah, I finished high school with like the highest honors. I was, um, I wanted to, I kind of wanted to know that I wanted my life to be modeling and studying mm -hmm. at the same time but I just ended up just studying full-time mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and yeah I, I had opportunities about uh, pageants but I was in really into them so I was just like mm, let me just put that in the back burner I really don't want to <laughs> compete I don't I don't like being in the spotlight uh -huh. as much um, and then I was going to start my fifth year and I started getting these inbox on Instagram, my mom, my aunt, my cousin, some of my friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's this competition in Miss Earth. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think you should join. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's really different from Miss Universe, from Miss World, uh -huh, uh -huh. from um, other pageants. And it's the first time they're going to celebrate it here in Puerto Rico, uh -huh. so you should join. Uh -huh. And I was like, let me think about it. Because uh -huh. I want to finish school first and then compete. Okay. Um, but I ended up doing both at the same time. My last semester was like pretty packed. hectic. Yeah, yeah I had two packed. jobs. I had school and I had the, the competition. Mm -hmm. So everything just, you know, ended up where it had to be. Mm -hmm. So I recently graduated psychology and marketing from mm -hmm. the University of Puerto Rico. I won Miss Earth Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, and then I had to leave my job because I was going coming here. Mm -hmm. I was a waitress and I uh, worked at a store also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had the most amazing month here and mm -hmm. now I'm Miss Earth 2019. <laughs> yes. So I hope you don't mind since, yeah. since you mentioned, I have two questions about yeah. what you shared. First mm -hmm. would be initially you had issues, you had body issues. Yeah. Did you experience any type of bullying before? Um, if so, how did you handle it? If not, okay, how was it for I, you? I had body issues. I was like a fat kid. Mm -hmm. Not a, a kid. I was really skinny when I was like six, seven years old. Mm -hmm. But then as I turned maybe 11, 12, I just was like the fat kid. Uh -huh. um, but I never, I never, I think I never got bullied or I didn't think I was getting bullied. Mm -hmm. um, but I was really... You know, the media and everything that I watched wanted me to be a certain way, and uh -huh. I saw myself, and then it was just like these two different things that I'm experiencing. Mm -hmm. um, but um, from other people, I, I never I never got any comments against, mm -hmm. you know, how I looked mm -hmm. um, or my body, so. Because yeah. you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You are <laughs> beautiful. Okay, another one. A while ago, yeah. you shared that people were... Uh, were inviting you to join the pageants and initially yeah. you said no because yeah. you wanted to finish school but what made you change your mind 
I think because um, there's a lot of people that really believed in me and the fact that I was about to finish school. I think that um, one, of the, one of the excuses that I was putting on was I want to finish my, my bachelor's mm-hmm. degree first to at least have a base mm-hmm. and maybe take a gap year and then come back. Mm-hmm. Um, so Miss Earth just came in at the right time and also the, what it actually stands for. Mm-hmm. It's bigger than some issues that we are, it's bigger than, um, I don't know, it's bigger than us. The, the issues that we encounter in on Miss Earth. So. I agree. I agree with you. And I think yeah. this is the perfect platform. Yes. And I think Noni will ask you about your yes. advocacy. S- yes. Speaking of the, your your uh, your your uh, platform or mm-hmm. your advocacy, because I remember that you have a very specific framework yeah. with your advocacy. It's like the love for the family translated into the love for the environment. Yeah. How did you um, come come up with such a, a specific framework yeah. for that? Was it something about your like life experience or your your traditions in mm-hmm. back in Puerto Rico? So how was it? Um, yeah, it had to do with both. Actually, my um, I'm very family oriented Mm -hmm. I love my family so I really wanted a part of me to be in my advocacy and it's basically I think it's a Latin American thing that we we always care for the families and I know it is here in Philippines it's also like that so I wanted to to for people to see who I am in my advocacy also Mm -hmm. Um, loving and respecting not only my family but also each other um, and different values that we always see and I wanted that to be able to to transcend and to reach other people um, and also Mother Earth. So, yeah. And speaking of the competition, um, in full honesty, with a range of 1 to 10, mm-hmm. going into the competition, how prepared you think were you during that time? October 26th. Because I think you were training uh, for... Yes. Yeah. I was training, but I I had my insecurities. I always ask myself, like, um, it's 85 women. How are these judges, you know, going to choose Correct. just one? I, I always, I whenever I talk to my friends, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be the one, you know, what's making me different than any, any other girl here because mm-hmm. we're all here for the same purpose. Um, but I think that I was... Like a six point eight seven, because I'm also like a rookie in pageants. Yes, and I yes. know that there were girls that um, had competed before, so I knew they Correct. got like they already knew how the style was going to be. Um, but yeah, I think like a six or a seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I remember also during our first interview, I asked you about the strongest competitors, yeah. and you, I, I like, cannot no. answer that. <laughs> okay. Because I haven't met anyone. Yes. I met anyone. Now, now that you've now met yes, them. it's it's safe now to answer that question. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. In full honesty, <laughs> Nellis, who are who do you think were your strongest competitors? I mean, some some of the girls that you think were had a strong chance of also winning. Aside from you, um, USA, like I saw her and I was like, she's beautiful. She knows her stuff, and we became friends also. So at the end, we were like, if either of us wins, we will both be happy because we. Um, we and made she was a bu- really happy when you yeah. she was so happy. Yeah. Love her reaction. Funny. Yes, I mean, if she would have won, I've been doing the same, like screaming and stuff. Because um, apart from the friendship that we built, we were also um, we were really happy for each other on, on that on that night. Mm-hmm. Um, but who else? I would have to say, I mean, Ghana. Maybe top she was three, yeah. okay. Top three: oh. Netherlands. Um, Ghana because I mean she was a favorite and she always you know she was always on point and USA yes all those three girls very strong top three yes. there <laughs> right and still since we're talking about the pageant if you don't mind sharing to us uh, what were the best and most difficult part of the entire pageant process given that it's actually technically your first international pageant, yes. right? Yes. And it's a good thing that you won. So <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Right. So, which is the best part and which is the worst part of the pageant I process? I think the worst part was being away from my family, um, because sometimes I was just like feeling a little down and couldn't. Maybe it was 
3 p.m. here, but it was 3 in the morning back home. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm not going to call my mom at this time because she might get really, really worried. Because she texts me every single day, like, did you eat breakfast? How are you doing? What are your plans? Mm -hmm. So I think that was, like, one of the hardest things. But the best part, I think it was, like, the whole experience in itself, getting to know all the candidates who I made strong relationships with. I like a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And being able to to visit what Philippines has to offer because the landscapes here are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for Thank sharing you. that. So if you don't <laughs> mind us asking, since we're already talking about some serious stuff about you and you yeah. already shared a bit of difficulty, mm -hmm. so if you don't mind, what did you have to sacrifice to get to where you are now? Now that you have that, looking back, what were some of the things that you really sacrificed? And now that you have the crown, is it worth it? Yeah, cake. <laughs> I um, love the answer. Bread. <laughs> um, <laughs> rice. <laughs> you know what, guys? That's uh, too much sacrifice. I guess. <laughs> Education. Oh, no, no, because I, 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 I recently graduated my bachelor's, yeah. so I was like, okay, I have okay. a base now. I'll just take the gap year and then um, resume with my master's. Mm -hmm. I want to, to apply for my master's when I get back home. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the hardest thing I had to sacrifice was just food. food. The little things. Yes, yes. Because I, I get in a bad mood, like a really, really bad mood sometimes, and it's just like I want a piece of chocolate and then I'll be fine. But I couldn't do that um, <laughs> while I was training, so. <laughs> but yeah, that I think that was like the hardest thing. So. I think I have to agree with you on that. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's let's relive Nellis your answer to the final question. Okay, RT, real talk. Okay. Were you satisfied with your answer to that final question? Yes. Yes, I was. I was really satisfied. I, um, I heard the bell and I was like. No. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do it before, but I was I was really I think I was really sure about what I wanted to answer, mm -hmm. and I felt that I answered it mm -hmm. correctly. I mean, of course, I mean, yes, I mean, look at that. yes. Look at that. And given a chance by Miss Earth, uh, the Miss Earth organization, if you are, of course, you have the crown at the platform. If you're going to be given like a free reign to. Um, focus on an environmental issue mm -hmm. for the whole year. What do you want to focus on? With all of the things happening right now? Um, I think it's, it's too many to choose just one because I think they all feed from each other. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, planting trees has to do with clean air, clean water, mm -hmm. Correct. Um, better resources. Mm -hmm. And then taking care of the water has to do with where we're living the the pollution the trash we're always you know throwing around and then just clean air i just said like the it has to do with transportation it has to do with the way we um, like manufacturing sites it has to do with um a lot of things so i don't think i can choose just one thing yeah um, yeah, it's really hard to choose just one for those. It's okay. You have an entire year to work focus on <laughs> and work on everything. Yeah. Okay, you have the entire year. So speaking of the entire year, what do you think? What is your next schedule? And do you have any upcoming events uh, that you are preparing for? Um, as of now, um, this week we're still doing interviews here in Philippines. Mm -hmm. But I will be going back home. Um, I know I have like certain trips and activities. Uh -huh. For example, in Puerto Rico, I we do have certain activities, uh -huh. um, but I'm not sure 100% mm -hmm. how they will be scheduled. Mm -hmm. So. And you know what? I would like to tell you to buckle up. Oh yes. Because Miss Earth, a Miss Earth title holder, is one of the most well-traveled queens. Oh okay. yeah. So. I think I'm happy for that. Just have to handle the jet lag. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be in different countries, so we're yeah. excited for you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're done with we're done getting to know. Oh, that Alice, was fast. Okay, that was fast. But we still have uh, an, an activity, a very first one. This okay. is an MEC first, and MEC we call first. it. It's uh, called. MEC first. MEC oh. first. <laughs> okay. Rapid fire questions. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So we're so. going to ask you about your firsts. Okay. Here. It could be about anything. Okay. It's going to be like a rapid fire questions. Okay. okay you ready for this? Yes. Okay. First Filipino, Filipino food you ate? Uh, wow. I don't remember the name, but it was 
a fish in like a cheese sauce with mozzarella. Oh, I, don't, I don't remember the name. Oh my god! <laughs> it's fish. I know it was fish. I know it was fish. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, next, uh, first person you called after winning. My mom. Yes. Okay, first friend you made here in the competition. Uh, Miss Malta. Okay. Okay. First person you missed after the pageant. I missed. Yes, you missed after the pageant. My mom and my dad. <laughs> okay, first country you would love to visit as Miss Earth. Guyana, because I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> like a reunion of sorts, yeah. right? She's right. your bestie, right? Yeah, okay. she was. You saw yeah. her reaction when you. When oh you yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So first thing that you did as Miss Earth. I literally called my mom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, first Filipino word you learned? Uh, mabuhay. Mabuhay, okay. First Filipino, or rather, f first gift a Filipino fan gave you? Uh, this pin from oh. Miss Earth Moments on wow. the Blogger's Day. Wow. <laughs> Interesting, right. First TV guesting, how was it? I think it was last Monday, right? Yes. Yes, it how was, was it? It was really fun. I, we went to a... Uh, uh, Filipinas bag, bagong bagong Pilipinas bagong. Yes, yes yes and we it saw was really a little and bit we were that. dancing also yes. so that was fun <laughs> it was fun way to wake up <laughs> right so first place in the Philippines you would love to visit during your reign I want to go back to Palawan but I also want to visit Boracay Boracay <laughs> and the first advice or tip you got from Miss Earth 2018 Bongan during uh, the after party wow I I remember she told me, whatever you need, I'm going to be here. Just let me know. Just send me messages. But be prepared for the year. Like, it's going to be crazy, but you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. Thank you. That's it. So, if you don't mind, do the spill for us. Of course. So this is Nelly Spimentel, Miss Earth 2019, and you saw it here first at Miss Earth Crown. Oh, yay. yay! Thank Woo. you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been a Thank pleasure you. getting to know you, talking to you. We will follow your reign. We'll be your number one supporter. We'll back you up. <laughs> so if you need anything, please just uh, feel free to ping us. Okay? And we're so happy for you. Thank you okay, so much. So Congratulations, Congratulations again, Congratulations once again. So guys, yes. here we have it. So our Miss Earth 2019, Nelis Pimentel from the Puerto Rico. <laughs> Alright, so thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Bye everyone.